Okay, so let's look into chapter number two. We have a triple A configuration. So in the triple A configuration, when you want to start to do configuration on triple A, the first thing you need to do is to use the keyword triple A, AAA. Now, once you type AAA, enter, you will go into what we call the triple uh, A view. Then you use this keyword authentication scheme then followed by your authentication scheme name. You have to key in your scheme name. All right, this is where you create the authentication scheme and enter the authentication scheme view. Now, once you enter your scheme name, then you will inside the scheme name view, you, have, you need to configure the authentication mode. Remember earlier on, I told you that we have three, three mode, either non-authentication, using a local or using triple A. Triple A have two options, either you use HW takers or radius, okay? So these are the three steps for you to configure the triple uh, A. That's not the end. We still have uh, continue here. Now, step number three, we need to configure the domain. So create a domain and bind the authentication scheme to the domain. So you need to configure domain and specify your domain name. If you do not specify any domain, it will go into your default domain, right? So triple A domain name, you have to specify the authentication scheme. Remember that this was the scheme just now that we create. And you also need to create a user if you do create a local authentication. So for you to do that, you use a keyword called local user, specify your username and follow by your password cipher then followed by your cipher password. Now here there is a condition, um, create a local user and configure the password for a local user. So the first one here is if the user contain a delimiter, which is a alias, okay? So the character before the alias is the username and the character after the alias is the domain name. For example, if let's say I'm going to do a, yeah, at Huawei, Dot com so yup will be the yup will be the username and huawei.com will be the domain name all right the domain name that I specify here so if the user does not contain alias the entire character string represent the username and the domain name is the default one so if you do not specify anything it will going to use the default domain Step number five, this is where we are going to configure the user access. So the user access means that the user can use what type of access. So local user followed by the username, okay, service type. So in here, you can see that we have a lot of service. We can use terminal, telnet, FTP, SSH, SNMP, HTTP, PPP or none. Okay, so you can actually specify this user can only use telnet, can only use terminal, can only use FTP or cannot use anything at all. Or you only can com configure the user for PPP authentication only. So it's entirely up to you. And as you can see that by default, all access type are disabled for local user. If you don't specify, there are none. They do not have any access at all. So then you have to configure the local user with a privilege level. As I mentioned that privilege level uh, 0, 1, 2, 3 is entirely up to you. So this is our authorization. Now here we have a very good example to show you how AAA is being used. So after a user password and user level are configured on router 1, so this is the router 1, Host A can configure user name and password to remotely log into R1. So let's look into this example. First, we need to go to triple A. Then we go to the local user, Huawei, password, cipher, followed by Huawei123. So remember, we are creating a local user. Then we repeat the same command here, local user Huawei, service type. Here we specify that I only allow this user called Huawei to access to Telnet. Then we repeat the same thing, local user Huawei privilege level zero. Then we also specify that user interface 04. All right, that is our virtual terminal. 
uh, line 0 to line 4, authentication mode is triple A. Now because that we have not specified our radius, so in this case, this is a local authentication. So let's look into the uh, configuration verification here. In AAA, each domain is associated with authentication scheme and authorization scheme and accounting scheme. So remember, AAA need to have authentication, authorization and accounting. In this example, the default domain is used. So let's look into this command called display domain name default admin. By default, if you log in as an admin, it will go into default admin. The domain state is active. All right, so authentication scheme is default. Everything is default. So by default, it is a default admin. So you use a command called display domain name, then followed by your domain. So let's look into the second part here. After the user properly log in and log out, you can view the user record. And for you to do that, you do this display triple A offline record all. So here we see that the username is called Huawei. The domain name is default admin. The user MAC address is uh, 3456. User can access to Telnet, user IP, user ID, when it log in, uh, what is the log off time, and what is uh, what is the reason for the user for offline? So it's a user request to offline. So they actually just close the telnet. Okay, so we come to. to the end of the um, session here so there are two questions here so first what authentication authorization and accounting mode are supported by triple a now remember i told you that on the authentication we have uh, three authentication mode we have no authentication we have local authentication and we also have remote authentication Okay, all right, next we have the uh, authorization. If you still remember, we also have three authorization, no authorization, local authorization, and remote author authorization. And finally, on the accounting, we have how many? That's right, two. So we have no accounting or with the AAA accounting, okay, which is a remote accounting. So next, uh, when a new common user is configured with local authentication but is not associated with user defined domain which domain does the user belong to uh, i just covered that just now uh, which is the default domain okay so as a summary on this topic triple a improved enterprise network security okay so important here is the security and prevent unauthorized user from logging in to the enterprise network by authenticating the identity of enterprise employee and external user, authorization accessible resources, and monitoring internet access behavior, which is the uh, AAA here. So the AAA, I repeat, is authentication, authorization, and accounting. So just to remind you, authentication means determine which user can assess
the network, which is your username and password. Authorization means authorize user to access the specific services. What service that user can access after they authenticate. And once they authenticate and authorize, then we are going to do accounting, which is record the network resource utilization. So AAA technology can be implemented either local or remote. On the protocol that use AAA, RADIUS is the most commonly used. Again, we also have HW takers. Okay, so that is the end for this topic. I hope you enjoy uh, this topic and I'll see you on next module. Thank you.